The night before the earth broke, the animals knew. Dogs refused to sleep. Chickens beat their wings against wooden pens until feathers filled the air. Snakes abandoned their burrows, writhing across frozen ground where they should have been still. To the villagers, it was unsettling. To one man, it was a warning written in a language older than words. He was not a prophet. He did not hear voices or read the stars. He watched animals for years, the scientist, an observer in an ancient world that had no instruments, no seismographs, had noticed patterns no one else cared to track. Before landslides, cattle grew restless. Before floods, insects vanished. And before earthquakes, animals behaved as if the ground itself had turned hostile. Tonight, every sign was screaming. The air felt wrong. Too quiet, too tense. Even the wind seemed to hold its breath. Dogs howled without pause, a raw, frantic sound that scraped against the nerves. Horses reared and strained at their ropes, eyes wide, nostrils flaring. Rats poured out of storage pits in dark, living streams, fleeing toward higher ground. People laughed nervously at first. Animals were unpredictable, they said. Superstitions of frightened minds. But the scientist's hands shook as he watched the chaos unfold. He had seen this before. He moved through the village, urging people to leave their homes, to gather in the open fields beyond the walls. Some listened. Many didn't. Stone houses had stood for generations. Why would they fall tonight? Then the ground whispered. A deep, rolling groan rose from beneath their feet, like something enormous shifting in its sleep. Cups rattled. Roof tiles trembled. The laughter died instantly. The earth split open. Walls collapsed as if made of dust. Streets buckled and twisted. The air filled with screams, choking clouds of stone, and the thunder of a world tearing itself apart. In moments, the village was unrecognizable. Homes flattened, lives changed forever. But in the fields outside the walls, people stood alive, shaking, staring back at the ruins. The animals had gone silent. At dawn, as smoke drifted over broken stone, the survivors understood what had saved them. Not magic, not prophecy. Observation, patience. Respect for signals nature had always been sending. Long before modern science could measure tremors, the earth spoke through creatures that felt what humans could not. And one person chose to listen. Today, we trust machines to warn us when disaster approaches. But the ancient lesson remains. The world is always communicating. Sometimes the earliest warnings don't come from the ground beneath our feet, but from the lives moving quietly upon it. If this story intrigued you, please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. It helps the channel grow and brings more stories like this to life.